Well, Marnie, she and her husband say there's not one thing that can be done to stop all the gun violence in this country, but they said one of the initiatives before the legislature right now will make it harder for criminals to get their hands on guns, and that's why they say it needs to pass. We must never stop fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Gabby Giffords is not only talking about her efforts to recover from a gunshot wound three years ago, she's also talking about the effort to make our country safer from gun violence. She and her husband Mark Kelly came to Olympia today to push an initiative that would expand criminal background checks for gun purchases. And right now you go to a gun store, you got to get a background check. For a criminal that fails, he can go down the street and go to the gun show. Doesn't make sense to me. Kelly admits gun control is a complicated issue with two passionate sides. That's why hundreds of people lined up outside the Capitol in support of I-594. It is a step. It is not the final measure, and I think more gun safety is needed, but this is at least one step. What does it going to take for us to say we need to change? But there were also many supporters who turned out in favor of 591, a different initiative that would protect gun rights and limit what the state could do. The background check systems do not work. We we need to deal with our criminals. That's the problem. They're punishing law-abiding citizens. They're not focusing on criminals. Kelly used to live in this state and says he understands why some people don't want more government control. Washington, you know, has a very strong, you know, history of, of gun ownership. Uh, I'm a gun owner. Gabby's a gun owner. We're strong supporters of the Second Amendment. We get that. But he and his wife say the only way to start reducing gun violence is to start making it harder for criminals to get weapons. And they told legislators this measure will do that. Be bold, be courageous. The nation is counting on you. Now, the State House Judiciary Committee heard testimony on both initiatives today, but if the legislature as a whole doesn't act on either of them, then they'll end up on the ballot in November, and it'll be up to voters to decide. Reporting live in Olympia, Tina Patel, Q13 Fox News.